to part one of maybe three or four lessons um, covering this little sequence of chords using the circle of fourths. So the idea is to have this sequence, show you how to play it, and then in the second, third, maybe fourth lesson, we're going to go through lots of ideas for building solos using arpeggios and scales over the top of it. So each lesson will have a different little solo that you can take the ideas from and do your own thing with it. So this one is obviously on YouTube. Uh, the second, third and fourth one will probably be on Patreon. And so, you know, if you want to do the more advanced stuff, then please check it out. And while I'm here, just a quick thank you to the guys on Patreon. Pete, Tom, Tom, Nick, Steve, Ben, Vince, Chris, Jimmy, Henry, Thomas and Christopher. I keep saying I'm going to do a shout out and a thank you to you and I haven't. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much for uh, supporting the lessons. Really do appreciate it. So let's get stuck into this first one. <laughs> So let's get stuck in then. So with this sequence, the idea was to have a, a cool little sequence which is always moving and we've also got a little place as well where we can do some cool exercises for your guitar licks, uh, scales and everything to work on solos, take the ideas for songwriting, all that sort of stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do then, I'm going to show you where we are. We're in a G9. So I'm sure most of you know this stuff already. So G9 is fret 10 on string 5, and then 9 on string 4, and then 10, 10 on strings 2 and 3. So what we're doing then with this sequence, you know, that is neither here nor there. You can do whatever you want with the, the rhythm and all that sort of stuff. But the main idea is building this sequence from the circle of fourths you know, which is like going backwards on the circle of fifths. So we've got the G. And then, like I said, next lesson, we're going to be going over the, the stuff, the... with all the uh, the chords and everything. So we've got the G, and we're going to go... we're going to count four notes. So we've got G, A, B, C. That then takes us to a C7 or a, a C13 and then if we do another four notes we got one two three four it gives us an F then another four notes it gives us a B flat whether it's a seventh or a thirteenth it, that's totally your call and then another four notes, one, two, three, four, it gives us an E flat. Okay, one, two, three, four, gives us A flat. One, two, three, four, gives us D flat. And then one, two, three, four, gives us F sharp. And then we count again, one, two, three, four again. So it's a B, so this time I'm going to go up to, back to fret 7 and do like a 7th or a 13th, it's up to you. And then just to break up the sequence a little bit, to make it a bit more interesting, I'm dropping down a semitone. Uh -huh. 
So dropping down a semitone, but I'm still ending using a fourth from the B flat. One, two, three, four gives us E flat nine. Which resolves it quite nicely. So the idea of this first section is to just understand where these chords are coming from and how they're all fitting together. And then when we learn all these little scales and solo licks, you're going to see how they're all fitting together and you can just take what you want from it and make your own stuff up. Okay, so now we've got um, this little sequence in the bag. What we can do now over the next few lessons, we can start building up um, some solos with different soloing ideas using different scales and arpeggios. Uh, very likely that will be on Patreon and we will put up the Guitar Pro tab, the normal tab, scale chart and arpeggio charts and a backing track for you to jam to. Um, and it's probably going to be, I'll probably do little things like this I'd imagine. <laughs> That sort of thing, doing arpeggios, maybe dropping some pentatonic stuff. That sort of stuff. Okay, so, um, you know, I hope you enjoy this lesson. And if you want more, then please obviously check out Patreon. And uh, thank you very much. I'll see you soon, guys. Cheers. Thank you.